Today is the last day of a Chinese lunar year. The day to usher in the new year. On this day, the largest population migration in the world every year, the Spring Festival Travel Rush, is underway. All Chinese people go home for the Spring Festival. Everyone shares the same hope: a family reunion. Go home and be together. My name is Lin Yuanyuan. I'm on my way home. For my family, the New Year's Eve dinner is crucial. Let me share with you what it is all about. Nanjing is my hometown, a modernized city with traditional charm. It is now in a festive mood with the red color everywhere, meaning good luck. The present I chose for my grandparents are also red, the best color for the festival, and wishes them all the best. The festive activities start with shopping. First, we come to the wet market to buy live prawns. My cousin's wife will show me how to make prawn bowls. The different cereals symbolize good harvest. It's time to call my aunt. She is the expert for eight treasure rice pudding. I call my grandparents to confirm the delivery of the special ingredients I ordered online. Grandpa says he's very satisfied. The top priority is to buy a variety of red ornaments for decking out our home. During the Chinese Spring Festival nowadays. There's a sea of people in all the streets and alleys, creating a strong atmosphere of festivity. Back home, the whole family have arrived. Plays red things everywhere, dusting clean everything. Put on new clothes to welcome the new year. Operation of New Year's Eve is on. <laughs> There can never be too many food characters. Some are upside down, meaning the arrival of good fortune. Children will get lucky money for protection from evil spirits. Mobile apps with cash envelopes enable everyone to try their luck. As usual, it's Grandpa who writes the Spring Festival couplets. I know the lucky words must be well matched. These couplets express people's best wishes for the new year. 
such as good health and successful career. The most exciting thing before the dinner is for the whole family to make dumplings. Only one of them will contain a candied date. The person who bites it will be lucky the whole year. Night is falling. It's time for the important ritual: the New Year Eve's dinner. First, I'll cook crispy sweet and sour pork from northeast China. The meat need double frying with golden and crunchy coating. It seems to be a tantalizing dish. However, today's dinner is a job for everyone. Grandpa's speciality is braised pork balls in gravy. Meaning good luck, wealth, long life, and happiness. Grandma says we must have choosing salad. The ten ingredients symbolize prosperity and perfection. Eight treasure rice pudding is also rich in good meanings. The syrup topping is for happiness. Mom and I are boiling the dumplings. The round dumplings bubble in the water. I expect it to bring endless wealth. My sister-in-law is Cantonese. The fruits and prawn bowls, which includes a variety of fruits, is refreshing and attractive. Dad wraps up the feast with braised fish and golden spring rolls, another symbol of wealth. Cold dishes and nutritious stews will complement this reunion dinner. At the same time, all Chinese people are working on this dinner. Each family has different dishes. Some simply go to restaurants, but all have the common theme of family reunion and shared joy. Now my family's dinner is ready. The dishes are much more sumptuous than usual. There are good luck entrees like meatballs and braised fish, and local delicacies of Nanjing, as well as dumplings, spring rolls, and desserts. The elders take the seats of honor. The younger ones sit on both sides. Grandpa proposes a toast, then everyone digs in. <laughs> My crispy, sweet, and sour pork is highly praised by the whole family. My little nephew is fond of the braised fish. It is a custom in Nanjing to save one for the next year as a symbol of prosperity. And I also eat the lucky dumplings made by Grandpa. The whole family are chatting merrily over the fine food and watching the Spring Festival gala. In the gala, the countdown starts to zero o'clock.
firecrackers are set off as a prelude to the upcoming spring. At the beginning of the new year, we greet each other with the best wishes and say Happy New Year with endless hope.